Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hi everyone. Today video tutorial we are going to see how to embed JEE framework in a Maven project. So in before tutorials we have seen how to execute a Maven web application and how to create a Maven web application and also a simple Maven project and how to add repository everything. And now we are going to use how to add a JUnit framework to your Maven project. Normally, JUnit is used to test the application module by module. It's just a framework. We are going to use it in a Maven project. So for that, you have to go to your Maven project and do the necessary steps. Now you can see here the project POMXML file, which is shopping.com amazon so here you are going to embed your jini library so that you can able to test or execute your modules unit by unit select your project new others Normally, you will be creating as a JUnit class, but here you are going to create it as a JUnit test case. So, select JUnit test case. Next. Now, give the test case name. So, in order to test your application module by module, you are going to use Java Unit. JUnit stands for Java Unit. Now you can see here the JUnit class has been created. You can see the act test symbol. The act test stands for the annotation. Here only you have to write the code for the test. So if it is given in fail of not at implementer, whatever you are giving inside fail, this test won't execute. If you want to execute the test, you have to delete the fail method. Now, in order to add the JUnit library, you have to go to build path in your project. Select add library JUnit. Eclipse itself, you will be having JUnit add finish. Now, you can see in your project, JUnit library has been added. Now, open your POM XML file. Run as. Maven build. You can see here it is successful. So Maven clean is successful. Whatever you are doing, you have to do Maven clean first and then Maven install. Now you can see here Maven install also successful. So according to your JNIT every installation will be done in a Maven project. So now you have to run your JME test case. So select run as. Here JME you can see Maven test. So you can see here test build success. So all the scanning for the project has been done and the build success. So here inside the test folder we don't have any test. That's why it shown build success. If you want to run your JUnit test, you have to choose so you can see here while executing it showed some error. So you have to sort the error. That's why your tests have not executed. So select the class. Here you can see because we have given fail not at implementer. Because of that only you got an error. Just delete the fail. Now provide any script inside. I'm going to provide JUnit test alone. Now run your test. You can see here the JNIT will be executed and also in 
comes on whatever you have given in JNE test will be printed. So you can see that there it has been success for Amazon and the URL is open and JNE test is passed. Open, you can see the test name. Only one test we have kept. And in console, you can see JNE test. So here the green symbol represents pass. If it is fail, it will be represented in brown symbol. So now in J likewise you have to add all the annotations in the J test. So now I have added only at test. You are having more annotation. Annotation is used to separate the module and execute the script. So the annotations are before, after, before class, after class, ignore, test. So test we have implemented. Now we are going to implement before, after, before class and then after class. So come to your sample test script. You need to know how these modules will execute because by representing the annotation only we are going to represent which module is to execute the in initial stage and which module should be executed in the final stage. So the syntax will be like at annotation return type of and inside that you have to write a code. So here only at test is there. Select the test and same by just I am going to change the annotation, you know. Give instead of at test before and the method name as before. You need to check how the module structure is going to execute. So the same like annotation name, I am going to give it in a method call. And copy this and paste for all, ignore. The syntax will be the same, but you have to change the annotation and the method name. And inside script also, you have to change according to your requirement. So change it as after and after module. Now, the other thing is before method and after, sorry, before class and after class. So change it as before class module and next after class. So everything you have done, import the package. So you have imported JMIC library to your project. So wherever the package importing is necessary, you can import the package related to the JMIC library. Now I have given all the annotation and I am going to run this. Select the XML file run as maven test. So now build success. Now you can see in JUnit the test have executed. And in order to check whether all the module have executed, you have to see here. The first module is before class, followed by before and test, followed by after module, then after class. So before and after will execute in initial and the final stages. So classes will be executing first and then the before. So now I am going to give two method in a JNIT program. So two method, I am just changing the at annotation method name alone. In first one, I am given JNIT test. In second one, I am giving JNIT test in sample. Now I am going to execute this. Let's see how the execution will be. You can see here two tests it have run. Test and tester. In console you can see before class executed, after class. And before every test, before and after module is executing. So before class and after class will execute only once. 
but before and after will execute each time the test is executing. Then if you want to ignore any of the test, for example, you are having two tests, you don't want to run any of the test, you just give at ignore annotation above the test. Now, JNA testing sample will not execute. It will be in your script, but it won't execute. So, likewise, you can able to give at ignore to your test. Only to the test you can give, not to the before class or before after anywhere. So, you can see before class, before module, JNA test, after module, after class. So, the test are ignored. So, this is the structure of JNA. So wherever you need, you can able to use your Apache project management in JNA. So whenever you are doing versioning, if any of the previous is not needed, you can just ignore it using at, at ignore operation. And if it is needed, you can able to implement it. And also, if anything that needed to be updated or it to be standard, you can keep that in a before class and an after class annotation. Once if you added your JNA primary, it will be in the dependency. So whenever you require, you can able to get the annotations and classes and methods from the JNA. So using JNA, you can able to manage and test your Maven project or a Java project. It is basically a Java unit testing framework. So in next session, can see about Selenium WebDriver in Maven project. Thank you.